There we go. As you can look at the dot is coming up, 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 up. Finally there's pointing at the AL, so it actually received better than the other ones did. We'll go ahead and zoom in. And there's the brightness of the AL. And we'll zoom back out. I'm going to start shooting. Move up towards the head. Now we'll zoom in. You can see, I'll zoom out just a bit. You can see just below that head, right here, going left to right, is the um, gun. Bring it right up to the head. Zoom back in. Hold that shot. And we'll zoom back out. And that was the M20 head. Start shooting it. Now we'll go ahead and zoom in. Zoom back out slightly. There you can see the uh, gun right there. We'll bring it up to the head. Hold it and zoom back in. And we'll do some stills of each of those to see if there is a difference. Bring it back out. And that was the M25 head. This is the Latitech LE30. It only has a five second timer on it. So I'm going to have to shoot it and then try and zoom in on it and back out a bit all in one shot here. And we'll start shooting. And that was the LE30. This is the fabled LE10. This is also a five second jammer. So once I shoot it, I'll try and zoom in rather quickly so you can actually see how bright it is, which once you see it, I don't think I'll actually need to zoom in for you, but we'll do it anyway. That was zoomed in and out. As you see, that is a bright jammer. On the left is the LE30, and on the right, as you can see, is the AL as the parking sensor is flashing on it. And we'll go ahead and shoot it, and we'll see if the LE30 is ready to go. It only shoots for five seconds. And there you go. As you can see, the AL definitely is quite a bit brighter. One thing you notice about the AL is depending on where you're shooting, you actually can hear it actually starting to jam the gun a bit. And that's it for that one. This video shows the two blinders, M20 head on the left, M25, which is the newer, higher power head on the right. I'm going to start shooting. You can probably see the uh, gun in the center. There you go. I'm bringing it up towards the heads. I'm pretty much shooting right center between the two. I'll go ahead and zoom in. see the beam of the gun right there up and down in the center. It's under the left head. Now the beam of the gun is under the right head. This head on the left is the M20 head. This head on the right is the M25 head. Got both the receivers in the middle so that way they get the same fair shot. And they're both level. Go ahead and zoom back out. And that's it for that part. There's the LE30 in the middle. M20 on the left. And that was the M25 on the right. This is a shot with an M20 on the left, 
the AL in the middle and an M25 on the right. You can see the AL parking function flashing. I'll go ahead and shoot down to the ground. Zoom in a bit. Bring the gun up. Right about there I'm shooting at the AL. You can see which one you think is brighter. The thing you can notice is the AL has more of a concentrated beam while the blinders have a little more of a dispersed beam. There they are up close. We'll go ahead and shoot it. And you can see. Well, that was weird. Hmm. That was strange. I would have swore the blinder was brighter for a minute there. Looks like now that the uh, AL is falsing it. Yeah, there we go. Bring the brightness of that blinder up a bit. And we'll go ahead and shoot them. You notice right there the blinder actually looks brighter. Now you notice suddenly it dropped in power. And then the AL was brighter. Did that just a minute ago and I thought maybe there was a weird glitch going on, but no, it uh, suddenly dropped in power. Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to turn the AL off. As you can see, they're basically falsing on each other at the moment. I'm going to turn the AL off, shoot that blinder again, and see what it does. Okay, I shut the AL off, and this is part two of the blinder next to the AL test. The blinder M25 had seemed like it was extremely bright at first, and suddenly it looked like it dipped in brightness, power, whatever you want to call it. So I've got it by itself to make sure somehow the AL triggering wasn't causing the blinder to false or stop firing or anything along that lines as far as trying to jam a gun. So let's shoot now. And we'll zoom in on it. It appears to be holding its own. Not sure why it dipped like that before. Hmm. It's kind of strange. Interesting. Anyway. Is something interesting. I had the uh, receivers on each of those because they are actually directional. On one side of the blinder head is the receiver and the other section is all the uh, LEDs. I had them both on the inside for the best reception. Now I've got them both moved out. and Let's see if these things actually look different when they fire. Okay. There. Oh, did you see that? Okay, I did it before when I wasn't filming. I thought it was just my imagination. They both started off firing very brightly, and then all of a sudden they both dimmed very, almost half of that. It's like they initially started out with a bang and then started dimming. And right there is the beam of the gun. There's the LE30 firing. It's definitely being overpowered by everything else around it.